Hey, Kristen, this is uh, Sean Whitfield with Vision Force Marketing. Hey, I just wanna go over um, a few things here. The first thing we're gonna go over is how to get into your site. So you're going to actually log in um, if it's WordPress admin. So it actually will be different. You're actually gonna use this URL up here, which is basically your URL uh, forward slash WP admin. Okay, and I will give you the passwords, uh, username and passwords for that so you can get in there and then you can change them. Um, so this way I don't have access if you want to do that. Okay, so let's get started. So first off, I wanna create a new page. So there's a couple ways to do this. I can hover over here, go to page and simply click that and it will add a new page. I also can go down this left column and I have all my pages here. I can either add a page right from here but we're gonna go all pages. Then you can see all your pages right here. Now I'm going to create a new page or add a new. So I go up here to pages, simply hit add new, and now I can name this or use my Divi Builder. So I'm going to actually name this and we're gonna put it workshops, okay? And then I'm gonna hit this publish button always have to hit this publish button if you do anything back here okay. and then after that's done you can hit preview changes now you'll see it says workshops and it's pretty ugly right so this will change immediately as you use, as soon as you use and enable the visual builder the Divi visual builder okay and you'll see this change drastically here Okay, and now um, we could create a whole page from scratch. And as soon as this is done loading, you're gonna see a couple boxes up here and I'll explain what those are. Okay, so now this is done kind of configuring the page. So now I can add, I'm not gonna go through all these um, because I've actually saved you a page that's already done. So this way, whenever you wanna add a, a new page, all you have to do is change out a few elements. I did this so this way you can just get started fast without having to learn something new. Okay, but anyways, let me get into this. So this will let you move a section anywhere on the page, that little thing. This is your gear icon. This is where I can change the background. If I wanted to throw an image in here, I could upload image, boom, and there's the image. And then if I just change with the adjustments, uh, you know, simply dragging, you can see more of the image or less of the image, but I'm not gonna do that. You can always hit, uh, control Z, Control Z again, and it brings me back to this state. Okay, so Control Z is a as a backup or an undo. It's one of my favorite keys on this entire keyboard. Okay, so but I'm not going to use this um, right now. This is for the main section. This is for the internal section or the row uh, settings. Okay, it's very similar. This is to copy the section. And then we have another section here. You can't really see it because it's behind that other one, but it's a gray button. And this actually lets you pick um, what you want behind it, but we're not gonna be using any of these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down here to the big purple button. Big purple button's important for saving your changes once you're done um, with the entire page. I always, I back it up several times uh, during a build. Um, Okay, so I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna load from library. This is where I had actually saved you a pre-design. Um, and you have predefined pages. These are stuff that Divi is just comes with, okay? Very easy, blog standard. I mean, it, it's really kind of cool. Um, I built your stuff a little more custom. So what I did is I actually uh, made a page and I'm gonna replace existing content with new page layout. Now, not to be confused, uh, confused with the single page post. This is for posting um, a single page to your blog and then it will automatically show up in your wellness within blog, if that makes sense. So, um, but we'll get into that in a little bit. But I, first I wanna show you how to build this page. Simply click this button and now you have a duplicate of Yoga and Form, correct? Okay, so now there's a couple ways we can change out content. I can simply go into this box and I can change it here or even more simply change it 
here. So, and what would I change that content with? Well, I'm going to use workshops because that's what you had given me. So, workshops, put that up there. And we'll go ahead and we'll put the title of this workshop. I'll copy that. But first, I'll put join us workshop. Okay. And I'm going to take this information. Now, I don't want it bolded, so it just works just like it would in Word or something else. You just hit that. So, join us for a workshop. And, okay, so that was it. That's all I had to do with that. I didn't have to get into these boxes and mess around at all. But you can do that to change up the formatting and that sort of thing. Now, here, we want to change this to sign up now. Okay. Now, this links to the contact page. Now, when you had sent me this link, I would generally link it to this. And all you have to do, when you ever get that page up that's actually for that registry, you would just copy that hyperlink like this, go back here, and put that into the button URL. Boom. And then it would go there. But I don't want to do that, so I'm going to hit Control Z, back up. I still want to go to the contact page until you get the new link. Hit OK. That one's done. Now, I'm going to change this button. Sign up today. There it is. So, link still goes to the contact page. I hit OK. Now you're probably wondering, why are there two buttons here? This button is strictly for the desktop. So, if I go into here, I'll do that again just a little slower so you can see me. So, I'm coming here again to, to mess with this button. I click that gear icon. I go to visibility. And you can see that it's disabled on phone and tablet. So this is just going to work on the desktop. This one is just going to work on phone and tablet. The desktop is turned off. Okay. Now we want to proceed to this next section. These gear icons or this box is identical to this one here that's all blacked out. Um, it just did that. It was kind of a weird. There's always some type of glitch in every type of website that you use or, or template there's always going to be something that comes up that's just kind of an anomaly um, this one just happened to do it with these colors for whatever reason it's kind of weird but anyways we don't even need it so we're just going to go here we're going to change out this text to I'll leave the question mark because I kind of like that uh, actually not. and that's what's great we hit control V come right back and what is boom then we're going to go ahead and we're going to simply copy and paste Control V, Control V, put a question mark. Okay. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and copy your bullet points. And then again, we're going to change out this button. pop up click it boom there you go and there now your workshop page has been created okay now this spacing because you notice the spacing is off now with this one now I'm going to actually save this box okay so and I want to move the box over so I go to design I go to spacing so the only thing you have to adjust in this one um, and it's probably because I copy and pasted the button before uh, but never deleted that output right doesn't matter um, I want to do left justified on this and then you can take these boxes and move it so this way you can actually see you know how your work is coming so go here hit 20, hit 40 not quite there 160 yeah I like it and just keep messing around until you kind of get it to the middle okay and once you have that, I still think it can go over a little bit more. So I'm going to go five. There. I think that is pretty well centered. Now I have this from the top because I wanted to have a little bit of a margin there. But zero, zero, I'm good to go. It should be in the center of the phone. Okay. So that's it. I mean, that's pretty much how you create a page, um, at least with um, you know what I've kind of built for you. Talk to you soon. Bye.